Hey, Michael with X-Force PC. I want to give you an overview of our newly put together, at least as of this time, um, simulator for simulating the Garmin uh, 530 and 430. Technically, these are real sim gear. 530 and a real sim gear 430 and if you were wondering about compatibility any plane that uses the built-in X plane 530 and 430 will work um, as far as third-party 530s and 430s homegrown you know written special 530s and 430s you know you need to look into it before making a purchase just to be sure it's compatible if you're not sure you can ask us and hopefully we can tell you one way or the other. Now, the base system does come with the 530 and the 430, but if you don't need one or the other of these, we're not going to force them on you. You can delete one or the other and then, you know, save a little bit of money. Now, if you do that, you'll get a slightly different bracket. Like this is the one that holds just the 530. You know, you're not going to have some ugly hole here in your uh, bracket because this bracket does hold both the 530 and the 430. Now, I will tell you this um, bracket, plate, stand, whatever you want to call it, it's very sturdy. You can hear me kind of tap it on that kind of hard, and it's barely moving this stand. So you can push these buttons, and the stand's not going anywhere. So if you don't you know, have a cockpit to put this into, you can still go with the included stand, and it does a really nice job. It's kind of thick, heavy metal um, that it comes with. Now, as far as what else does it come with, let's start top down. We've got our 49-inch ultra, super ultra-wide monitor. It's the equivalent of two 27-inch 1080p TVs, or excuse me, monitors side by side, but with no bezel in the middle. The reason we go with this is because it gives you a wide field of view, but only uses one monitor connection, because each of these uses a monitor connection. And you only have but so many. So, we start you out with a, a real wide monitor. You don't have to go with this monitor. We'll also probably offer a 32 inch if you want to save a little bit of money. Some people don't care about the outside so much. They're more interested in simulating the, the GPS and, and navigating bad weather and things like that. Um, so you can change to a 32 inch or you could delete the monitor altogether. Uh, moving on down, we have a Logitech yoke. It's kind of the de facto yoke in the market. Um, it's kind of a low-end yoke, but it's what the majority of the people use because it's pretty good for the money. You know, it's like a $170 yoke. It does come with a separate throttle. We, um, we did, did a yoke because we figure most planes that have a 430 and a 530 probably have a yoke, not a stick. But you could delete the yoke uh, and go with a stick. You could delete the yoke and go with some other yoke. Uh, like the Yoko, which is very good, but expensive. Now working our way on down, what, you can't see them, but there's some pedals down here on the floor, Logitech pedals. Again, very basic, kind of, you know, what most people have, but cheap and plastic, fairly inexpensive, but get the job done. Um, you could always delete them and go with Ruddos or some other PFC pedals, whatever you might want to do. But um, we start you out with sort of the basic run-of-the-mill, what most people use, rudder pedals, the, the Logitech. And lastly, we have the computer, which we will talk about next. So this computer is basically our RTX system, at least at the time of this video. And I'm going to say at the time of this video, because you should review the specs, because I could change the specs and not want to reshoot this whole video. So make sure you review the printed specs on the site. But at the time of this video, we're using the Intel i5-9600K, runs at 4.8 gigahertz, which is extremely fast. Uh, you don't really gain much by going to the i7. It's pretty much the same clock speed. Um, you get two more threads, but you know, X-Plane really doesn't need any more uh, than six cores at this time. It doesn't really need eight cores. I guess that could change in the future, but it hasn't over the many years. We have 16 gigs of really fast memory, DDR4-3600, uh, again at the time of this video, check the specs. We have a one terabyte, very fast, solid state drive, very nice and roomy, again check the specs, we could change that at some point. You know, we have a good 700 watt power supply, and then we have an RTX 2070 graphics card, which over New York City, where we are right now, standard X-Plane scenery, 
we're getting 50 frames per second. We're using fairly high rendering options, which you can see here. Objects are high, visual effects high, texture quality maximum. Anti-aliasing is kind of towards the middle. That's the one when you play with this anti-aliasing can make things look nicer, but also can lower frame rate. So if we bump this up to the, the second highest one, you know, our frame rate will go down to about 35 over New York City as opposed to uh, 50. So you could, you know, play around with that, but it's certainly very doable. Uh, again, that's at the time of this video. Hopefully X-Plane improves performance and that number goes even higher, but that's at the time of this video. So um, the package we put together performs very nicely together. We have, we have full directions on how to set it up. Um, we will do a lot of the stuff ahead of time for you. So when you set up these real sim gear devices, you have to install a plugin, update the firmware, replace some art files um, in the X-Plane folder, and then arrange your screens. And we take care of all three of the first ones for you. The only one you have to do is arrange your screens because we can't do that for you. That's something you do at your house. And there's video directions of me setting it up. Um, there's also printed directions on the Real Sim Gear website. And uh, we'll send those along as well. But again, of the four steps required to get this going, we'll take care of the first three. And then you just have that last step of doing the monitor arrangement, which really isn't a big deal. So there's an overview of the uh, new X-Force 530 and 430 training package, I guess you'd call it. And uh, if you have any questions, email us at xforcesales at gmail.com.